What's up everyone, I'm Ola Englund and welcome to Ola Testing. Today I'm trying out the ESP LTD Snakebite James Hetfield Camo Guitar. I think it was about a year ago that they first announced the James Hatfield ESP Camo uh, Snakebite as well as the LTD Camo Snakebite but it took a while before they could deliver these. I remember ordering this from Peach Guitars back when they released it and it was supposed to be shipped just uh, two months after but then I didn't get it until September this year so heavily delayed. That happens, man. And does it really matter if a guitar is delayed when Ola delays another five months to demo the guitar? No, exactly. Proven point. But here it is. Look at this asshole right here. Unlike the ESP camo snake bite, this one doesn't have the camo on the back, which sucks a little bit ass. But look at the front. It's also my first ever snake bite guitar. I always wanted one, but they're always sold out. Also, I have to show you something. This is the case that it came in. Look at that! It's an ESP case and it has this uh, cloth camo on it. This is this is almost cooler than the guitar, in my opinion. The case. I like cases. In today's demo, I'm using a Mesa Mark 2C Plus amplifier going into my Mesa oversized cabinet. I'm using a new microphone today. This is an Austrian Audio OD5 uh, dynamic active microphone. Whatever that means, I have no idea. But I'm excited to try it out. I'm also using a stereo microphone over there and I'll blend the two together a little bit. How about that? Also in front of the amplifier, I have a Fortin Mini Soul over there. That's a noise gate, okay? Let's go. <laughs> Oh shit, it's the wrong band, I'm sorry. Body and neck in mahogany, you had a Macassar ebony fretboard, LTD locking tuners, Tone Pro tunematic bridge, and the EMG James Hetfield set. And the Hetfield set is supposed to be a little bit darker sounding than the regular EMG81. Uh, I watched a clip online uh, of a comparison, and it is a little bit darker, I must say. <laughs> That's very chuggy. Neck pickup sounds good. The volume is basically like this. You have bridge volume and neck volume. So no tone knob or no nothing. It's just an individual volume for the bridge, volume for the neck. Yeah! So it has the 2475 inch scale length and uh, 22 frets and it's, dude, it's pretty easy to play, I must say. The neck is a little bit thicker than I'm used to, but it works out. It doesn't feel like a baseball bat. It's, it's 
there feels pretty comfortable. <laughs> But it's real like a kind of like a chunk of rhyme type of sound to it. It's really chunky. I'm gonna be completely honest with this. The body itself is basically completely flat. It is shaved off a slight slight bit down here, but not too much. Very little. I feel that I wound up playing this guitar. I'm struggling a little bit with the armrest, to be honest. It's pushing the guitar forward in a way. You know what it is? It moves, it makes my arm move forward like this. I wish it had some kind of uh, more extenuated contour, but right now it feels like my arm is dragged forwards towards the neck. Obviously this is because I'm sitting down. James is known for never sitting down. He's always standing up. See, standing up with a strap, it makes more sense because this contour becomes straight. If I'm sitting down, it's like this. It just pulls down the guitar. So. This is a standing up guitar. All right, I'm going to compare this to my other LTD signature guitar that I have, the Alexi Laihau guitar. They're both incredibly nice built, I must say. The attention to details are great on these guitars, but also that's something you kind of like expect when you pay 2400 euros for a guitar. I must say I prefer the Alexi Laihau guitar a little bit more. There's a couple of things that work against me with this guitar. For instance, this that I was talking about, if you're sitting down straight, the, uh, the, I would need a contour, something that helps out my arm a little bit. And also this, I feel like, you know, I, there's a stop here. If I play like this, I can reach the 22nd fret right there, but natural stop is basically 21st fret. So the access, the fret access, it's not that good. There's not a lot of room here, you know, for me to go in here and be like, me, 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 you know, Kirk Hammond. He will be like, oh, no, I can't do my melees. But other than that, I think it's a kick-ass guitar. I mean, take a look at this thing. Isn't this the coolest camel in a long time? And also the EMG set sounds good. This amplifier rig sounds kick-ass, obviously. The case is nice. I mean, if you're a fan and you don't have the money to fork out for an ESP or an E2 camel, they also exist, but they're also very expensive. Then this is the, the closest you can get. I guess. So there you go. That's my little video for you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. Thumbs up on the like button down there, or maybe even uh, buy a little t-shirt from oldenglandshop.com. Thank you so much for whistling. Thank you so much for whistling. I can't even whistle now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>